we were supposed to be on the Palmetto Trail this week, but uh, Poof had a little accident. So, okay, for you guys that don't know, Poof did go down pretty hard on the bicycle uh, about a week ago. In no shape to uh, bike or hike. But she wants to get into her danger bird. Mm -hmm. Now you've been in blackbirds mostly. Mm -hmm. Sweet thing. As comfortable? Yes, very much. I like it. Definitely a good choice for my first hammock. Um, Thank you, Papa Smurf, for getting it ready for a trip I couldn't take, but I love it. Thank you a lot. It's what I was expected it to be. It's wonderful. Guys, what we have here is a Warbonnet Traveler, and I'm experimenting with a Biv Anorak by Hilleberg. We'll see if it works. What I'm doing now is taking off the ridge line. And we'll give that a test with the Bivana Okay. So with the ridge line removed, the Biv Anorak does pretty good with a traveler. Be a great weather sock. It's not perfect. Be better than nothing. And I've got surprisingly a good amount of room under here. Probably not much under the bottom. It's pretty tight. Like the inner quilt. But there you have it. What's up, Black Wolf? While Poof was getting in the danger bird, she noticed this beauty. What should we do with those? Step number one is getting the box ready. Hopefully this will do. That's all I've got. Yep. Kids, don't try this at home. Oh my gosh.
After yesterday's successful swarm capture, today Neutron is motivated to work the hives on the mountain. Uh, Poof, look over here Poof. Poof has decided to give it a go. The handling of bees. First step today is to kill mites. Neutron's got formic acid for us. Here are our friends. carried away is be sure that they're not all in the top. Let's look down one. Down down. Do you report it now? Okay. And it'll take us while it's recording. Mm-hmm. I think you're right because it's the gloves. Yeah. If you want to go I have a trick here if you find it today. Yeah, so I'll just show you that you can zoom in while it's uh no queen excluder? Uh, no, I'm wanting to get rotate these out of the bottom. You mean to get on the front of the hive and help you with the weight? You can see in there the big ones sticking out. Mm -hmm. Those are drone cells, they're bigger. Yeah. Okay, you can see them sticking out. As opposed to those other ones I showed you that were flat. Let me show one other thing. You see we put a screen bottom board on this time? Mm -hmm. As compared to that solid one. That way when they pick off the varroa mites, they fall to the bottom and then they fall to the ground and they can't just jump right back on a bee. Want to look at one? Or you, I can see. You happy? Throw that puppy up there. Poof. Yeah. These need three things. Yeah. See what they are? Water, um, sugar, and nectar, we call it. Nectar. And what's the third? Protein. Protein. That's pollen, which is what you saw on the legs. And that one probably needs to go back two inches, too. Scooch back, girls. Probably putting a little tape on this front corner would be good. You got duct tape? Uh, no. Well, within 15 minutes. But. Well, next time you're up here, duct tape this corner. Uh, so they have water over here in the lake. But right here is 500 gallons of water in this cistern. Yeah, but they're not going to go down there again. See this little crack? I left this little crack over here open just so they could go down and get a little sip of water. <laughs> I just, saw, I just saw one fly out. That's where we've had stuff stacked. But... He went down to get a sip of water. <laughs> or reaffirm why you don't work the front of the hive and why you work the back of the hive. Yeah, they get upset when you get up front. So 
So hopefully this is going to prevent what happened in town with the swarm mm -hmm. by giving them room. Number one reason why they do swarm is expansion. Number two reason is water or nutrients. Uh, number three, they'll swarm because of heat. They get too hot. A lot of times uh, you'll see all the bees gathering on the front. That doesn't necessarily mean a swarm's going to happen. Maybe it's just because they're hot and not getting enough ventilation. And you can open up the lid and give them a little more breathing room. We'll have some girls. Now, you do know why a bee stings you when, they, when you rob them, don't you? Um, they don't want you to rob them. You'd get mad too if somebody stole your honey and nectar. Yeah. This is uh, called a swarm box. We transfer from our temporary rubber made container to this warm box and Neutron is giving them a happy home. Uh, we'll leave this sitting until later tonight and if they're happy then we'll give them a more permanent home if they don't leave us. Anyway, like I said, don't try this at home. Well, yeah, if you got someone like Neutron, professional beekeeper and author of several beekeeping books, then you've got the advantage. Well, this is the end of this saga for now. If this swarm uh, decides to stay in this swarm box, then eventually we'll graduate them up to a brood box and then add a couple of supers. And then this yard will have two hives.